But yeah, anything that's in your infantry that you need transferring, please go ahead and chuck up a zero and then just let me know once you've done it. Um, and then I will let you go ahead and... Is that everything you want to do for now? Right. Okie dokie, no worries. <laughs> Don't worry. What's that? Oh yeah. Hmm. Nice. Gunpowder is a massive one. Certain heavy ammo types are another one. Okay. So that would be quite heavy. Um, chems as well. Correct. Worst, worst case scenario, if anything does happen, um, the only thing I'm not sure on is sometimes occasionally when someone joins a private world but they don't have Fallout first themselves, they can get kicked once the other person leaves. However, they're not supposed to. It doesn't happen always. Um, so it's, it's supposed to. Yeah, but worst case scenario is, um, is if anything happens, I get kicked. I will simply just wait for you to load back into your world, and I'll join straight back in. It should be, but occasionally it will kick someone from the game, so we'll see what happens. But like I said, worst case scenario is I'll be straight back. Uh, now it looks good anyway. Not kicked in, it normally happens straight away. Um, nah, so I think my, on this is PSN, the five characters is literally, there's an Amish squad, there's an Amish squad, then there's Amish squad 3, Amish squad 4, and then Amish squad present, but unfortunately, I wish I'd named them better. <laughs> You have you have to join your own private again. You can by joining your own private. Yeah, so I'm still in your private, so you would go back as if imagine I'm not here and you wanted to load up a private. Same thing, you just go back into there. Correct, it doesn't. That's alright. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, I mean, Bethesda is very buggy and a lot of things happen that aren't supposed to. Um, however, I believe that once you've joined a private server, like if you say if ever you dropped anything on the floor or put it in a bag, 
if you then came back into that same private server after switching a, a mule over or whatever, it should still be there. However, this is the reason that uh, couriers are handy, is because Bethesda is obviously extremely buggy, and there have been numerous occasions where people have lost their items, where bags or items in suitcases disappear, um, which is the, the frustrating part. So realistically, if you're ever transferring anything that you don't want to lose, um, it's always best to go through somebody else, whether it be a good friend that you can trust, or whether it be a trusted known courier. Bear with me a second. Let's see where you are. Where's that, sorry? Oh, by, uh, by the vault. Lost you, so let me have a little look. So I am very heavy, can't fast travel, so... Give me two seconds. Uh, if you can come to me, that'd be great. I was about to say, just in case you were transferring any weapons, I already went ahead and put my weapons in my stash box. And um, as couriers, we uh, we don't go to our stash box during the middle of a trade. Um, just so there's no confusion and there's no belief that we could ever be taking anything or putting stuff on our own stash um, mid mid trade. <laughs> yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. I unfortunately don't know. I used to when I was younger. Um, but not anymore. I uh, used to support Manchester United um, when I was a child. <laughs> I don't know why. Mhm. Mm I'm here. You just got to wait for me to load in. Yeah. But yeah, no, there's there's a lot of people in the UK that do do support and follow football. Um, just me personally, I'm not a big big fan of it anymore. I kind of wish it it wasn't as big as what it was. That's weird. I've already put them up for zero, and it says requested. Um, still says the posted at zero. That's very strange. Yeah, I've already offered them at zero. I just done it a second time. <laughs> that was weird. No worries. Uh, triple check that they're in your infantry. Yeah, so they've gone out of mine. It just it's always best to triple check. So tips are 100% not necessary, you never have to tip a courier, um, so please don't ever feel like you do have to tip us, it's not the reason that we do this job. Um, however, if you ever do choose to tip, we accept anything and everything, there's no written rule as to what we, we do or don't take. Um, obviously each courier will prefer something, if it's offered to them, that they would actually use. Um, however, there is no right or wrong answer, if you ever want to tip something, just feel free to do it, if you don't, don't feel like you need to. We don't go away and go and talk amongst ourselves going, oh, you know that guy, they never tipped us. That We don't do that. It's not in, in question. Like It's just a case of if you ever want to tip us, feel free. If you don't, don't worry about it. Because uh, most of us have already got a lot of the things we're looking for in the game anyway. Um, so that's why it's not necessary at all. We don't expect it either. Yeah. 
Yeah, sure, man. I mean, truth, truthfully, I've, I've we we get tipped at everything and anything. So, I think like the smallest tip I think I might have received is um is ten presents, and then the biggest tip I've received is a god roll weapon. Um, so it's literally the the, the, the span between it is unreal. Um, usually we get tipped things like presents or caps or they'll ask us what kind of weapons we're using or it really depends on the person like for example I've had people offer me tips and genuinely really want to give me like a good tip and I've refused it because I feel like the person so for example one of the most recent trades I probably shouldn't say but it doesn't matter I won't name any names um, they only had I think it was maybe four or five like good weapons um, and they were very much where I was when I first started trading. Um, and they offered me one as a tip. They said they wanted to tip me one of their nice weapons. And I genuinely refused it. Um, because one, just the offer was more than enough for me. Um, however, I could not see myself to take something off somebody that I felt needed it much, much more than I did. Um, uh, my build is just a high health build, so I run anything from junkies, vampires, to uh, assassins, what is it? A8, uh, anti-armor. <laughs> yeah, I've actually got a bit of revs to be fair at the minute, but I shouldn't. <laughs> Did you need to transfer anything else today? Oh, sure, dude. <laughs> you are uh, very kind and extremely polite and nice. <laughs> No, honestly, though, just so you're aware, please don't feel like tips are necessary. I mean, I'm truthfully, I'm the same as you. I've always been brought up to uh, to tip people for services um, because at the end of the day, there's a lot. Of, and not, I'm not talking about Fallout 76, but just in general. Um, so it's polite to tip your taxi drivers, Uber drivers, not Uber drivers because they are for themselves, kind of. But taxi drivers, it is polite to tip your waitresses and so on um, because at the end of the day, they don't make the money you're actually giving them. Um, kind of thing so it's nice to give them something um but yeah so I, I i've always been very much the same um however we always state to everyone that it's not necessary and truthfully we genuinely don't expect it either um it's just a case of if people do want to be nice enough to tip then, uh, then we do usually accept it however like i said with the uh the previous person that i had uh, helped out i genuinely didn't want to take anything from him if anything i actually wanted to give him stuff um, because I felt like he was working his ass off, and, uh, it, it kind of took him a while to get to where he was. Yeah, yeah, I'm here, dude. I did that the other day. Possibly. Me personally, I went down the settlers route. Uh, most of my friends did the raiders, and I heard a lot about it, and I wanted to try something different. Thanks. 
I'm not too sure to be honest. I mean, I know that at the end, um, again, no no big spoilers, um, but just the main thing that's common, everyone knows it really, is you, you do have the option, obviously once you've succeeded in getting the gold, you have the option to screw over whichever faction that you uh, went in there with. Um, yeah, so again, I'm not going to give you any, you should do this, you should do that, because it's everyone is each to their own. But just to bear in mind, because something that not a lot of people tell you before you do it, is if you do screw over the faction you went in there with, you don't lose very much reputation at all. You only lose maybe 5 to 10%. Um, and it's a decent chunk. It's about... What is it? It's about 4 days worth of gold bullion. Um, so 400 treasury notes. No, 40 treasury notes. Wait. 240 treasure. Yeah. You're on the same one again. But um, but yeah, no. Whichever way you choose to go with uh with the the vault raid, uh, I'll be honest. The vault raid was probably one of the most fun, fun things, um, whilst doing the missions. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Are you sure? Uh, show zero. Show zero. Confirm. Cool. Well, uh, thank you very much, mate. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so the majority of... Well, I say that. I think nine of my junk types are around the 100k mark. My flux types are approximately... I think cobalt flux, I've got 13,000. The other ones are approximately 3,000 of each. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you say the items in Rocket League are more rare than here? Really? Because, for example, for a piece of armor, to get a god roll piece of armor, just as an example, you'd have the armor itself, so you've got, like, let's just say, for an example, you've got heavy metal, right? But that could have been normal metal or a different version of metal so you've got like i think three different types of metal okay so there's three different rolls what's that Yeah. 
So the perfectly preserved pie is, uh, I'll be honest, I think it's like a one in a hundred. Um, the first try is really good. Yeah, that is, that is nuts. Oh no, the fact that you did it on your first try is nuts. Most people will sit there and have to do it maybe 40, 50, 60, 70 times to get the piece of pie out. Um, that's good, dude. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the only the only downside for me, I mean like I'm I'm always happy to answer questions, but as far as doing it on a a more professional level, the only downside is is I don't have very much time. Um so to give you an example, my partner is currently in hospital, has been in and out of hospital for well, constantly. Um I have a baby due any day now. Uh, my partner's obviously extremely poorly, which is why she's in hospital, not because the baby's coming this second. Um, so she is 37 and a half weeks um, and set to have a caesarean, but there's a good chance he'll be coming early due to how poorly she is. Um, then I've got a four-year-old daughter that's currently in at my bed um, who goes to school and I have to deal with her, get her ready and so on. Then I do the courier service uh, with the couriers. Um, I'm also a moderator now, so I can also accept things to the page, decline them and so on, um, and get all the posts approved to the Facebook page and so on. I think I'm in three groups with the, the couriers on Facebook that I have to keep up to date with and so on. Um, not, not the Discord, not the Discord, but I'm very busy. Um, Yeah. Out of curiosity, what what questions is it? What like whilst I'm here, I'm fine. My daughter's in bed. My partner's at hospital. I've been up there with her most of the day in the afternoon. Um, I've eaten. Like I'm I'm not busy now. Do you know what I mean? But then, as a as a majority throughout the day of each day, I'm usually quite busy. Apart from maybe a four or five hour span in the evenings. Um, but with that being said, I mean, is there any questions that you currently have? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so okay, so when it comes to per so that I'll be honest, that was a very big question that, in my opinion, didn't make great sense because when you say the pa so you mentioned power armor, nukes, perk cards, um, which don't really go hand in hand. So they so they kind of do and they kind of don't, right? So when 
So all you need to do to be prepared to use your... So if you already have a power armor, and you're able to wear the power armor, the only thing that you have to have in order to be prepared is, one, enough um, enough carry weight, in the sense of... When I say enough carry, I mean don't have your carry weight too high, because what you'll tend to find is, is with power armor, it's going to boost your armor um, stats, so your ballistic, your radiation, your energy uh, resistance, it's going to boost those but you're not going to have or be able to carry as much items so you can have certain mods on your power armor that allow you to carry extra weight but whereas for example my main character can carry just shy of 500 carry weight in power armor I can carry just shy of about 350 and that's with both power armor and main character with normal armor having the max capacity of carry weight on each um, so, i.e. if I'm running around and I've got 500 carry weight, that's fine if I'm in my, my normal armor and I'm just my normal character. But then if I then put my power armor on, you'll notice I'll go 150 overweight, and in turn I won't be able to move around properly. Um, so one thing is just make sure that you don't have too much weight on you when you're switching between normal armor and power armor. Um, or at least know what the certain carry weights are for each type. Um, and the other thing is make sure you've got a decent amount of fusion cores on you. Because as you probably know, power armors are run by fusion cores, um, and the power armors do truthfully tend to chew through them quite quickly, uh, especially if you have a jetpack. If you have a jetpack on your power armor, it will go through them. You can literally boost up in the air, and you can watch the little bar of your fusion core start to drop slowly. Um, in regards... Hmm. I, I hear that dude the only like I said the only downside man is I I'm someone that when I like to do something I like to do it as professionally as possible and I'm not someone that does anything half-heartedly um, and I wouldn't want to put my name down for something that I genuinely don't feel like I could do properly um, okay. That's cool, man. But, uh, you know, it's all good. <laughs> cool, cool, man. Well, uh, anyway, dude, I'm going to shoot because uh, I need to go and grab a drink. But uh, we... let's get in there. It's only, only half eleven. I've got about another hour or so yet. But, um, but yeah, thank you for choosing the couriers, dude. Really appreciate the tip, so thank you very much. And uh, I hope you have a good day. <laughs> not at all, not at all. Alright, have a good day, buddy.